YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Now, one thing, you know, which has been cash money, which is young man money, which is little Wayne Bird man, is the tech game. The tech game is crazy out there. Yeah. So, can we just see what the, the tats on the nuttles is saying? Yeah, when we was doing, starting the Young Money label, we started a group also called Squad Up. Right. And when we was, I think we were 16 years old when we put this on our fingers. So I basically, I ain't want to do nothing. It's like 16, 17 okay, at yeah, most. Yeah. So, you know, this is all I wanted to do, man. So it's like at the end of the day, I, I knew I was going to be with him. Yeah. So it's like. We just put it on our knuckles. I put oh, this on my knuckles at 17, <laughs> so you know I, was, you know what I was thinking. I wasn't tripping. I was just ready to get on this road and just, you know, hold my homie down. You know? Yeah. It turned into something bigger than that, though. So. Yeah. You know. Now the face tat was that a decision? Nah, I just did this because, like, after the hurricane and everything happened, I moved to, uh, I moved to Houston. I stay out here in Miami and Houston too. Mm. But when I moved to Houston, I just felt like I wanted to get something to represent my city. Mm. A tattoo that represent my city. I was gonna actually do it on my back, a big one. Mm. I was like, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here on my face. So when you see me and you look at me, you, you know, you yeah, know no, what baby. It is. Yeah, you know what it is when you see yeah. me. So, yeah, yeah. Now I heard Houston got pretty crazy after Katrina, went with all the. No killers moving down there. Yeah, it got, it got, <laughs> it making it crazy. Yeah, it, got, it got wild for a minute. Yeah. You know, it's cool now though. Yeah. It's all cool now though. It's calm yeah. in Houston. That's why I wound up staying down there because I kind of like that. I like that uh, that environment in Houston. It's kind of laid back. It mm. ain't like at home, you know, in, in the city, in New mm. Orleans. So you know, it's kind of laid back. It's somewhere you just want to buy land, buy your crib, and just have a family out yeah. there you know what I mean so it's like that's what made me really want to stay out there so mm -hmm. you know that's what made me buy a crib out there but they, Texas didn't really know what hit them when uh, when the whole NO moved down oh, there oh no 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 they ain't have a clue <laughs> they ain't have a clue but it's all love <laughs> yeah. now though you know what I mean yeah so. we're good now yeah. oh man well the tech game is crazy what's the situation yeah. up here that's just the MOB right there you know I mean everybody know what that means so. MOV. Yeah, yeah. Most of my tasks really Money over the beach. Yeah, yeah. Money over the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But most of my tasks really symbolize like music and family. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I got my kids' names on me, my sisters, my mama. Mm. You know, I got mics and microphones on me. And this is my mm. most favorite right here though. The five mics. You know I mean, I got the five mics on my arm. I put that on my arm when I first started rapping. You know I mean, that's just the motivation. Like, you know, when you five were, mics up in the source. Yeah, like when I mean, was, in those early days, that was the aspirational. Yeah, man. yeah, that, that's what, That's why I tatted it on my arm. Yeah. I used to read the source magazine. And, and, and like, the five mics. Yeah, man. be like, I want to yeah. give them five mics one day. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. That's some. That's some hip hop old school history there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah.